Hello and welcome to Coffee Break Maths. In this video we're going to be looking at time and we're going to be looking at how we can convert um, from tw tw 24 hours to 12 hours, how we can convert minutes to hours, um, looking at time planning and just getting to grips with um, clocks in general such as the analog and the digital. So let's get started then. So using analog clocks um, these are the most common things around um, analog clocks you may recognize the standard clock face and what you should be aware that for every hour of the day there are 60 minutes in that hour and that hour can be broken up into um, a number of parts so you've got um, the first 15 minutes of an hour is a quarter of an hour and that's indicated by the blue bar um, then you have 30 minutes which is half an hour so that's the green bar there and 45 minutes which is three quarters of an hour and that generally is how we sort of approximate time um, using quarter um, half past and quarter two okay so an analog clock is a clock with a dial or a clock face as we mentioned and it has a um, hand so it has a short hand that tells you the hour and you have a long hand that tells you the minutes okay so if we're looking at that clock there we can see that the, sh the small hand is pointing at the one and the long hand is pointing at the 12 so that's telling us it's one o'clock okay now if you'd like to have a little practice going to pop up three questions for you to have a go so all i want you to do is can you tell with the time on these um clocks you'll get a chance to pause the video and then we'll pick up after um after that hello and welcome back so I hope you had a quick go at that so um, so if we look at the first clock we've got the um, the long hand pointing at the three and the small hand pointing at the um, the five so that's going to suggest that we are 15 minutes past five o'clock so that's quarter past five okay if we have a look at the next one we can see that the short hand is moving from the two to the three and the long hand is sitting on the six so that's signaling that we are 30 minutes into the hour and we're moving from two to three so that's going to be half past two and then the final clock there as you can see the big hand is pointing to nine so that signifies that we've gone three quarters of an hour that means there's only a quarter left to the hour and that hand is moving from the 11 to the 12 so that's going to be quarter to 12 okay so i hope you managed to do those all right um, let's have a look at digital clocks so you might be used to um, a digital clock because um, many of those smartphones will have a digital clock on the screen that might sit in the status bar or it might be a lot larger on the screen in the sense um, nice big time now um, what we can see there is that we have got um, 1409 on that clock and what that tells us is that the first two digits tells us the hour so it's 14 hours into the day the the two dots the colon separates the hours from the minutes and the last two digits tell you how many minutes past the hour we are so that is 1409 now that is in 24 hour clock and what we need to be able to do is we need to be able to convert that and read that properly and the way that we're going to convert that is um, we're going to we're going to do a, a little subtraction trick so the big question is what is 1409 in the 12 hour clock so what we're going to do is we're going to take the the number of hours 14 and we're going to subtract 12 from that and that leaves us with two so we know now that that is actually 209 p.m. So 1409 is the same as 209 p.m., which is nine minutes past two in the afternoon. Okay. Now, if you think you can read digital clocks, no problem. So um, what I'm going to do is put you with some questions now. Um, again, you'll get a chance to pause, and we'll pick up after that. So what we're looking for is, can you tell me the time on these clocks? So we've got 2210. 1954 and 0230 okay so get ready to pause okay so let's have a look at these then so um, with the first one we've got um, 22 um, as the hours and what we need to do with that we need to subtract 12 and if we subtract 12 that takes us to 10 and we take 12 off that because 22 10 that's in the evening so we can take the 12 hours off that gives us 10 and that means that that time is 10 10 p.m. 
okay so if we look at B we've got 19 so let's take the 12 off that that gives us 7 so that makes it 754 p.m. so again that was 19 hours so that's past um, midday so that's definitely into the evening and on the last one um, it's 02 so that signifies that it is in the morning so all we're going to write for that one really is just 230 a.m. okay and that really is just digital clocks um, in a quick short snapshot now let's have a look at converting to hours from minutes and wh why is that important well in some instances it may be important for us to convert across um, so let's have a look at how we do this conversion remember they are 60 minutes in every hour and that's key and in order to do this to change to hours from minutes we're going to divide by 60 so here's some international calling cards um, from, a f um, from a phone card provider. And you can see that you've got Canada, India and China as the main rate. So let's just work out what that's worth. Now, you may notice that Canada and China have the same um, rates, 0.6p per minute. So you're going to get 1,666 minutes for £10. And what we're going to do is we're going to look into that and see how many hours do we get for that £10. And if we look at the India in the middle, that's 961 minutes of £10. That's 1p a minute. So we're going to work out how many hours we get for that. Now, before I give you the answers, what I'd like you to do is have a go. Now, remember, all you've got to do is just divide by 60. Um, so let's see how you get on with that. Get ready to pause. and welcome back so let's just have a run through then these answers so the first one we're going to look at is the Canada and China phone card um, what we do know is that there's 1666 minutes and we need to divide that by 60 okay dividing that by 60 gives us 27.76 hours so we know we're getting 27 hours for the, our 10 pound but it's got that 0.76 now that's not minutes um, minutes is out of 60 so that 0.76 is telling us that we've got 76% of an hour left on that card. So how do we work that out? Well, the first thing we can do is take the 27 off and that leaves us with 0.76. And if we times that 0.76 by 60, that's telling us what 76% of the hour is in minutes. And that comes out at 46 minutes. So if you bought that phone card for China and Canada, you're going to get 27 hours and 46 minutes. OK, and we do the same process again with the India phone card. We take 961 minutes, divide it by the 60. That tells us we've got 16.2 hours. Now, um, I'm going to be really pedantic and work out what that 0 0.2 is. So let's take the 16 hours off. That leaves us with 0 0.02 times that by 60 and that's actually one minute so that could be an important minute who knows so the 10 pound card from india is 16 hours and one minute and that is just us converting from um, minutes to hours from two hours from minutes whichever way you want to read it but we are taking minutes um, and converting them into hours okay so let's have a look at another type of problem that we have with time and that's planning OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to just work out a little trip that um, Bethany needs to take and she's going to Tom's house and she's going to travel by train and she's travelling from Milton Keynes to Huddersfield and this is the train timetable that she's got. So there's three trains that are departing from Milton Keynes and they're arriving in Huddersfield at the said times. Now, Bethany needs to get to Tom's house by 3.30 she has to get the bus from Huddersfield station to Tom's house so that bus journey takes 40 minutes so she's going to catch a train and then she's going to catch a bus okay so what we'd like to know is what time should Bethany get the train from Milton Keynes to arrive at Tom's house in a timely fashion okay we're going to get a chance to pause this and then we'll pick up from there so if you want to have a go at answering this before seeing the answer um, just pause the video now and have a go okay and welcome back so what we're going to do is in this answer now we're going to work it um, a couple of ways and we're going to work it from a backwards point of view and we're going to work it from a forwards point of view and you'll see what i mean when i talk about backwards and forwards so the first one we're going to do in this journey planning is we're going to work in backwards 
So what we do now is that we need to arrive at Tom's house for 3.30. Now I've put that in 24 hour clock. So that is basically 3 plus 12 and gives us the 15. Okay, so that's how we get it. So 3.30, so 3 plus the 12 equals 15. So that's how we know it is 15.30. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to take 40 minutes off that. So we're working backwards. So we're not going forward, so it's not 10 past 4. Um, we're going to go back. So that's going to take us now to um, 14.50, which is 2.50 in the afternoon. Okay, so we need basically need a train that arrives into Huddersfield before 1450 and that would be the 1150 from Milton Keynes to Huddersfield and that gets in for 1412 and then if you caught the bus immediately you would be at Tom's house for around 1452 so that gives you 38 minutes plenty of time to get there so that is one way of working it back okay now what you can do is you can work forwards and this probably is a longer procedure because you are working forwards for, and you're looking at the earlier time and the second time so let's have a look at this one so if we arrive in Huddersfield for 1315 that means we've caught the 1050 okay so we're looking at the 1050 at the moment so if we caught the 1050 we'd get into Huddersfield for 1312 so 12 minutes past one if we added 40 minutes onto that then that would mean that we would arrive at Tom's house around 13.52, so 1.52. So that's a little bit earlier. So as we've already seen, um, we can catch the 11.50, but let's just confirm that and see what time that gets us in for. So we arrive in Huddersfield at the 14.12, so we're now on this time one. We've caught the 11.50. Um, add 40 minutes and that tells us again that we would arrive at Tom's house for 14.52. So either way, you end up with the same answer. But like with maths, it doesn't matter how you get to the answer. It's as long as you uh, work it out. So once again, thanks very much for taking the time to spend with us on Coffee Break Maths. Look forward to seeing you again soon.